Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. So tonight, I'm taking a look at one from Guinness. This is the Guinness 200 Anniversary Export Stout. So hopefully this one does come into play nicely. It's 6% ABV on the back. They have a little bit of details there if you want to check that out. Comes in an 11.2 ounce bottle, brewed with black patent malt. Not much else really on here, so let's get this baby open and get it into a glass and see what this one has to offer. In that little description on the bottle, they do mention some of the things about the beer, but do not really want to read those right now because I don't want them to uh, sway my opinion in any way. But just like any other stout, of course, we're going to have pretty much a nice dark beer because that's what stouts are. And we get us on their stouts they don't usually consider them jet black at least on some of their other versions now this one is pretty dark and the reason they don't because they say a lot of times you can see a reddish tint so it's just usually like a dark deep brown but this one actually looks darker than some of the other ones I've had I'm getting light behind it I'm not even getting that tint down there so it's pretty much a jet black color head itself a nice mocha tan color now, I will say it has a nice smell from the malts thus far, picking up kind of a nice sweetness, kind of like a caramel, toffee type feel, almost like a uh, sweet sugar type feel as well, which if you've had the foreign extra stout, you'll definitely pick up a little bit more of that sweetness in that one, kind of picking up in the Antwerpen too, but it's got a nice, nice little uh, aroma to it as far as the taste. Up front, it does have a little bit of a smoothness. On the back end, do get some of that bitterness. Get a little bit of that scratchiness in the throat. But it has a nice feel on the texture. What I would call kind of velvety. Very smooth. Not over carbonated. You really do pick up some of that uh, coffee type feel. Almost like a coffee type bitterness that you're picking up on that finish as it goes down. After it does go down, I can feel now on the back end some of the uh, lingering flavor notes still in the mouth, still in the throat. As I'm talking here, I'm having that nice feel of kind of that sweetness and that coffee as well. It does have some thinness in there, and that's kind of been more of the issue I've had with some of their beers versus how well the foreign extra stout is. That one is not as thin. Uh, even the Antwerpen is not as thin, but once you get off of those two, I picked up more thinness in some of their beers. I like it to be a little bit more as a stout, a little bit more body to it. This one does have a lighter type body, nice light to medium. Does have a nice little, like I said, mouthfeel though, as the flavors are kicking around nicely. Good duration of the flavors, but that thinness, it just throws me off sometimes where I'm just not a huge fan of that in beers. But away from that, on the palate, the flavors are nice. As you can see, I'm just about all the way through this one. So I can't really drink too much more because I have to take a picture of it. It's in line with many of the other Guinness beers. I would have this one down after the Antwerpen. Probably a little bit higher than what they have for their Guinness draft. Um, but it's decent. It's, uh, it's not bad. Guinness makes a good quality product. This one just doesn't... I want to say excite, but it delivers. So I'm going to leave it as that. But the uh, Guinness 200th Anniversary Export Stout. And on the back here, I'll look at it now so I didn't look at it earlier. It says the new brew is complex and smooth with balance of roast and sweet chocolate. So mention the sweetness there. You do have that roastiness in there as well. So that does play into it nicely. But uh, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. Was it something you really liked when you picked it up? Or was it just something that kind of like, eh, it's all right, but it doesn't really uh, move the needle for you. Thanks again for swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catching you guys next time. As always, keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Uh-uh. Cheers.